Game Boy Advance presents. Well, it's more like Nintendo presents. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another random gameplay video. It's Metroid 4, also known as Metroid Fusion. And this intro is kind of long, but basically it goes like this. You're flying through space for whatever reason. Well, actually, they're flying through space. There we are. And we go to a planet with some unknown mysterious life forms. Well, we are going there eventually. Eventually is the key word here. Warning, asteroids ahead. Danger, explosions, impact, bacon, all sorts of things. Scary music. Oh, that's not good. And thus, we go to the title screen. Pressing starts. New save file. Go! I'd been assigned to watch over Biologic's research team, so I once again found myself on the surface of SR-388. No problem, I'm just gonna shoot this critter over here. It's not gonna have any issues with that whatsoever. Oh, yeah, 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 no, 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 I don't think so. What the poop? Glitchiness. Oh, pain. It was there. I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before, and it's eating my face. It was only later that I learned that the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as X, Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Oh, CX7 infested my central nervous system. I lost consciousness and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. Ooh, uh, warning, 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 warning. I am extra weird this video, aren't I? <laughs> like, even weirder than usual. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologic Biologic's vessels recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation headquarters. Oh, that's not going to be good for my suit. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. Then came to light that the organic compo components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival, and I put that in a rather good light until that popped up <laughs> with just my, the tone of my voice. Then, someone found the cure. Metroids! They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR-388. Sound familiar? The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. This likely means that the Metroids are their number one predator, basically, you know, the X. And that's quite a difference in appearance. Doesn't look too shabby, though, you know, the suit. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived reborn. As something different. And that is how the fusion happened. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over. Yeah, it's, she's hinting at the it's that the same Metroid hatchling from uh, Super Metroid. We'll soon be arriving at the BSL research st research station. I must prepare for docking. This ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the biological space labs or BSL research. <laughs> I read that as 
a period for some reason, BSL research, sta research Station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart. And now I am being sent there to investigate. Well, looks like we gotta find out what the poop is going on at the station. I bet there's a lot of BS going on at the BSL station, so perhaps this intro should end already so I can actually get to the gameplay! <laughs> it's been five minutes already! Ah, My impatience is showing. <laughs> well, okay, maybe it's not so much impatience as it is I know that the viewers expect gameplay in a random gameplay, not cutscenes for five minutes. <laughs> And we have oh geez, that was a very tight fit. Close shave. So close, might have to repaint the edges of the ship, but it worked out. So here we are. The BSL station. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388 as well as parts of your suit infected by the X Parasites. The cause of the exp explosion is as of yet is as yet unclear. Investigate the quarantine bay. I read that all as one sentence. Ah, I can't read. <laughs> you are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Is your objective clear? Why, yes it is. And now we are playing. Finally, D-pad move. A button to jump, B button to shoot, and that's all you can really do for now until you get your abilities back. I can't even go into a ball, but I can duck. I can also shoot upwards and diagonally if I'm holding diagonally on the, the D-pad. Going up, as per tradition of vertical shafts in Metroid games. Giving you the rundown of platforming 101. The main deck is here, obviously, which is absolutely nothing. The navigation room is the ends on the map, so, or I should say are the ends on the map, that was bad grammar. The quarantine bay is ahead. Bio signs are confirmed, be careful. Okie dokie. Uh, oh, I can't go back that way. I'll be back that way anyway later, I was just thinking of exploration. That hatch is locked and the music and overall atmosphere certainly has gotten a lot darker. Hmm. I can't get through there just yet, but don't worry, I will. This appears to be quite the ravaged station. So can't break apart those things. Ah, but it's an X. Grab it, grab it. You want to grab those? Yeah, they actually regain your energy because you have a part of the X in you. So you, so the X that are now in you, you can actually use to regain your energy in a second. Am I forgetting something already? This, this can't be. <laughs> Why am I... Huh? Because you can sometimes shoot walls and they'll open up, but what am I... Did something... This shouldn't be that complicated, this... What? Why? Huh. Why did I think that... That, that, that was locked. I don't know. I guess I'm just being dumb in this video. <laughs> I mean, it was flashing, so... Anyway. Navigation room once more. Yeah, flashing door is open. Yeah, maybe I'm just playing other Metroid games and I'm kind of confusing myself with the, the way the doors are. So, yeah, that's basically what happened. And the X can turn into all sorts of stuff that it attacks and yeah... Gooey! It actually is. It looks pretty good for a Game Boy Advance game. How 3D and gooeyish listed, gooey, gooeylicious it looks. That's what I was trying to say there. <laughs> but now I'm fine. I can use it to replenish my energy. Yeah, the X are actually your energy in this game. It's kind of weird how that works, considering that they are the predators. But you can use them to your advantage here. Yay! Yeah, I was just teaching that, actually, so thanks for reminding I, me, I suppose. <laughs> this, mu this music is kind of... 
in a inappropriately looping. <laughs> I mean, I think they've already covered that certain that certain point already. So I'm, <laughs> I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. All right, let's take on the axe. Oh poop! It always seems like Samus loses all of her equipment at the start of the game somehow, some way, and becomes much much weaker than she was uh, at the end of the other games in the timeline. <laughs> but I guess I guess they gotta do that to restrict your movement a little bit, so to speak. Um, I think this part is blocked off. Yeah, green hatches are a different level of security door. I can't do right away. Oh, no, you don't. Give me your energy. And this is a save room. Just stand on that platform for a bit and you can save your game. Hmm. Now, what's this way? I don't think anything's important this way. Oh, this is going to revive a zombie-like enemy. And you can collect it. I don't think there's anything for me there as of yet. I can't do anything about that without missiles, and I don't have missiles. In fact, that's the place I need to go in order to... Uh, no, wait, maybe that's not. Maybe that's for something else. Um, yeah, that, that's a dead-end room. I'm thinking of something else. Sorry about that. Downloadable weapons? It sounds like some sort of 3D printing disaster that people, people could have. I don't know. <laughs> Just imagine being able to 3D print a bomb and it just explodes your whole house or something, <laughs> something like that. That would be kind of uh, kind of an issue. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I don't think that would be uh, a safety hazard. In all honesty, <laughs> because I, I don't. Well, oh, this is blocked off. That's right. It's got the crossover of some wires and stuff like that. up this elevator. Yeah, 3D printing is pretty much just for the mechanical stuff. It doesn't give you gunpowder or anything like that, but these can. We're actually, we're actually gonna get some missiles via a download. Yeah, it's... <laughs> and this is a little backstory that I'm sure people will... I should say people who have played Other M that hated Other M will cringe with because they're mentioning Adam here. But I'm not going to go into that because this is a game of a totally different sort of game, and which I think I'm actually supposed to go up there later. Oh, maybe not. The recharge room here allows me to, uh, yeah, do that. But I don't think this is the place that I need to go yet. But I can save my game according to the handy dandy map the upper left corner which I suppose is a good idea because I think a boss is coming up soon actually anyway going up and uh, over here is uh, something a little bit later see that that, that hatch and I'm, I'm spoiling stuff aren't I <laughs> navigation room I don't think I actually have to stop here just gonna remind me of the uh, objective yeah that's what I thought. Still feel stupid about the rainbow doors that I thought was locked for whatever reason. Eh, well, it happens sometimes, I guess. And I've got missiles downloaded! So yeah, you press R, press B to shoot a missile. Uh-oh. Something's going on! No, my elevator! Now how am I supposed to get out of here? Mm hmm Hint, hint, it's that hatch I showed you about a, about a minute ago. <laughs> and yeah, you just, I mean, the computer codename Adam here is just telling us about the recharge room in case you, for some reason, shoot all the missiles in your inventory and get yourself stuck or something like that. And, uh, you know what, I will, I will recharge that single missile that I used just because. Why not? See that at the uh, top of the screen there? It's back to 10. It was at 9 a second ago. That uh, 10 indicates how many missiles you have. Obviously, it's basic gaming stuff. Uh, red hatches are something you can't do until later, by the way. So just saying that as well. Now this hatch is clearly indicating something. Yep. 
And through the ventilation shaft we go. Now I can do something about him. <laughs> and the- oh jeez. I was gonna say, where does that floor fall? It's those cracks there. And shoot through that. Kill zombie boy. And you can climb walls like that. Oh, and you can also jump off of walls by holding the opposite direction that you're hanging on to, and then jumping off like that. That is going to be something they're going to uh, teach you, so to speak, via gameplay right here. And there is a oh, missile upgrade. Thank you. There's the pathway that I was uh, blocked off by the wires before. What's this way? Is this another? Oh, it's a hidden something in here. See where there's a, there's a circle on the screen? It's it's saying that there's something here. Oh, there it is. Missile tank acquired! And now it turns to a dot. Yeah, whenever you see a circle on the map, that means that there's something hidden there. But sometimes the circles are in these really obscurely hidden rooms. And yeah... Oh, I should go save my game up there, because beyond that uh, door, I think it's the boss. This is back to the wire room. Yeah, I can't go through there. You definitely want to save your game, because a boss is afoot. A boss is coming. Well, actually, we're we're approaching the boss. It's not coming towards us. So I was misleading there in my wording. <laughs> All right. No. Uh, I wonder if I should recharge now. Oh, uh, that door. Uh, oh, but you know, I'll forget it. <laughs> I'm fine. The X just popped on by and helped me out. Okay, when the, when you see the eye show on that, like that, shoot it with a missile. Oh, shoot. I jumped the gun there. Quite literally. Nope, stop. Don't you dare do that to me. Uh, green recovers missiles and other stuff. Yeah. There we go. Red is quite the health booster. Alright, let's go through the door. Now, uh, it's not the boss just yet, and here's what I mean about being able to jump off of edges that they uh, sort of teach you. And energy upgrade for the boss. Fall down here. Uh-oh! Xer combining into Voltron! Oh, maybe not. Uh, that's all you have to do with the boss, is just dodge it when it does that attack. And just jump over that. It's very basic first boss. Oh, I made a mistake there. Oh well. I jumped a little bit too early there. No! How dare you! How dare you block my missiles! Ah! <laughs> Dang air slash. Dude, it's hot you that TM. Yeah. Oh, he's not close enough. Gotta get him closer to the wall in order to be able to jump over him. That fire attack uh, is pretty annoying. You know, ah! In on itself, oh, I jumped too early again. Dang it, what's wrong with me? My rustiness. I always have rustiness in random gameplays. Oh, it's done. Now I can take it on with... Oh, actually, do I have enough missiles to do this? Oh, wait, no, wait, it, it, shun it uh, plops out missiles as you shoot it. I mean, uh, ones that give you missiles, I forgot about that. Okay. So it shouldn't be that much of an issue. You guys shouldn't have used the missiles, or that many missiles. Ah, eh, it worked out. And you get the Morph Ball ability for defeating it! Yeah, I'm sure you know how to use this. I mean, I'm sure you, you're familiar with this. Press down twice, and now you'll be able to... Able, now you are able to sneak through stuff. Yee! And... You gotta grab onto the edge, pull yourself up. With the up on there, and... You're just able to do this automatically. It's very nice. And puzzle here, you gotta shoot through that first, and then you're able to grab and go through there, because you don't have bombs just yet. And there we go. Back to the normal path. And uh, yeah, this was um, that seemingly blocked off room before, but there wasn't anything to do there anyway. I um, guess I should work my way back down to the lower navigation room rather than the... Uh, uh, higher one because I'm actually gonna have to go to the uh, lower one anyway. And wow, I've I always lose track of time in these random gameplays. I've been playing for nearly 20 minutes now. Ah, I gotta pay more attention to the time. So once I hit the navigation room, I'll be able to see where I need to go next. I think it'll direct me to sector one actually. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Yep, Sector 1. And then I'll be able to save my game down there. That's not good. There's a lot of life forms there, and the X are going to be taking over, killing everything, and transforming into that. Yes, it's clear. I must get over there quickly to defeat them before they destroy them all. Go, 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 go. Oh, and uh, now this hatch is open, if you recall. Oh, wait, wait a second. No, that's the wrong hatch. <laughs> Sub-Zero Containment. Because you have uh, Metroid DNA incorporated with your DNA, you are now weak to missiles. I, I mean, missiles, oh geez. I had missiles on the mind there because, you know, I just got that thing. But um, you're weak to ice, so that's an issue. Um, I'm just thinking if there's anything that I missed along the way back. Well, I guess not. All these pathways are there just to uh, block you off until you get the Morph Fall ability, which is fine and all, because it's just the way the game directs you. Uh oh! Oh, that seems like a rather powerful foe, if I do say so myself. <laughs> And there's nothing you can do about it for most of this game. All right, sector one. Uh, blue doors, I think, are level two hatches, or maybe they're level three hatches. But all the door colors you're able to unlock in in due time. Navigation room. I'm locked in, so I'm forced to chat. Ah. Yeah, I got that on camera, actually. <laughs> it's, it's not unknown. I seen what it was, and it was pretty dangerous. It just destroyed a whole freaking door. <laughs> a steel door, may I add, with a single missile. Alright, gotta find all the atmospheric stabilizers. But not in this video, because... Here's a save point. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Well, or see you in the next video, whatever. Da -da -da!